Here, we have a representation of a typical primary cable. We'll look at its different layers from the inside out. First, there's the conductor, which in this case is a stranded copper wire. Typically, primary conductors are made of stranded copper or aluminum wire. Conductors can also be solid wire, but since solid conductors aren't as flexible as stranded conductors, they're seldom used for URD cable applications. Directly over the conductor is a conductor shield. This is a layer of semiconductive material that encloses the conductor to help give it a more uniformly round shape. We'll see why this uniformity is important a little later on. Semiconductive material is conducting material with properties that fall somewhere between a true conductor and an insulator. You usually see semiconductive materials in the form of conductive tapes, paints, rubber, or graphite compounds. The purpose of any semiconducting layer, whether on the conductor itself or on the outside of the insulation, is to uniformly distribute voltage fields to prevent hotspots. This layer is the primary cable insulation. It has a high insulating property that keeps the energized conductor isolated from ground or other conductors. The next layer to be removed is the semiconductive shield layer. Following the splice kit template, the line worker takes another measurement and places his mark on the semiconductive shield layer. The semiconductive shield will be removed at the mark. The cutting depth for the semicon does not have to completely penetrate the semiconducting layer to remove it. This is known as scoring the semicon. Scoring prevents the semicon blade from nicking the insulation and leaving a conductive path on the score marks. Using the proper adjustment on the scoring tool, the line worker rotates the tool around the cable one time set on square cut. Then, sets the tool on strip cut and rotates toward the end of the cable, making a weak point in the layer. Extreme care must be taken not to score or nick the cable insulation below. The semiconductive layer can then be removed by pulling and breaking at the weak point with either needle nose pliers or pinching type pliers to remove the semiconductor layer. The line worker removes a glove and carefully unwraps the semiconductor layer from the insulation. When the insulation layer is exposed, it is important to maintain a clean and contaminant free area. A solvent is used to clean the insulation and should be done only in a one way direction without bringing contaminants from the semiconductive material back onto the insulation. Thank you.